Hey guys, it's Unwritten Sphere, and today we're going to be making yum yum deviled eggs from the official Fallout cookbook. So, starting off, I am chopping up some fresh chives because the recipe calls for fresh minced chives for garnishing. This video was actually on my live stream at twitch.tv backslash unwritten sphere. I downloaded it and I'm doing a voiceover now. So it may look a little funny that I keep looking up at the camera and talking, but I'm actually talking with my chat. So the first step is to place six eggs into a large pot and then fill the pot with enough water to completely cover the eggs. Then cover the pot with a lid and place over a medium high heat. Part of the first step in the cookbook is to fill a large bowl with ice cubes and water. So while the water in my pot is heating up, I am completing that step. This is what my bowl looks like when I'm finished filling it. So now that the water in the pot has come to a boil, I am setting the timer on my stove for eight minutes and removing the lid from the pot. So step number two in the cookbook says that once the timer for the eggs has gone off, immediately take the pot off the stove and place it under cold running water. So I'm just doing that step here. So the second part of step number two says to move the contents to the bowl with the ice cubes and then carefully remove the shells from the eggs. So here I'm just taking the eggs out of the pot and putting them into the cold large bowl. The cold water in the bowl helps cool down the eggs and that stops the cooking process. Here I am just finishing up the last part of step two by cracking the eggs and then peeling the shells off of them and placing the peeled egg into a new bowl. Now I'm getting rid of the bowl because I don't need it anymore. And then here I'm just doing the first part of step number three, which says to cut the eggs in half. And please don't worry, even though it looks like I'm going to cut my fingers off, I was actually using a butter knife and was cutting very slowly and carefully. The next part says to place the egg yolks into a bowl, so I'm just doing that. I found that it was easiest to remove the yolks using my fingers because I had tried using a spoon before this and the spoon was just kind of ripping the eggs apart. One of the eggs actually had completely ripped in half and so that one got eaten before it was ever finished or filled. So you'll see at the end that I only have 11 deviled eggs instead of 12. So now I am adding in half a cup of mayonnaise to the egg yolks. And the recipe calls for one tablespoon of miso paste, so I'm adding that in with the mayo. The next part says to combine the ingredients until smooth. I switched from a spatula to a fork because the fork was getting the lumps out better than the spatula. Now I'm adding in one fourth of a teaspoon of ground coriander. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. As you can see, my boyfriend Kyle is here to help. This is 1 fourth teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of ground mustard, 1 fourth teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, and 1 fourth teaspoon of ground fennel. The recipe says to season to taste with salt and black pepper, and so since there's no measurement, I'm just kind of winging it here. Now I'm just mixing all of those spices together with the egg yolk mayo and miso paste. So step number four, the final step, says to spoon the egg yolk mixture into each of the egg white halves and then garnish with chives. Now I'm taking the fresh minced chives that I cut up in the very beginning and I'm sprinkling that over the eggs to garnish them. 
What is the best part about cooking Fallout Yum Yum deviled eggs? The taste testing part, of course. So I will let you listen to the live audio from my stream on Twitch so you can get my actual reaction. Here it is. I would eat these. They're good. <clears throat> Woo! They got a they got a kick. Spicy. They're not bad though. No. Like the aftertaste. I mean, it definitely leaves a kick in your mouth. But it makes me want another one. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. 